What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video in your daily update or render. I uh, wanted to do a full update on that. There's quite a lot we need to talk about because yesterday we, uh, well yesterday when I made the video, we were very bullish. We were trying to break above the $2.75 level uh, to get to $3. But in the end, what we also said in the video is that if we reject now, if we cannot get above that level, then, um, well, it, it's, it's not necessarily looking that bearish because right now the, the market structure, just to dive into it, the market structure right now, I would argue is something like this, right? So that we're just consolidating in this area. The EMAs are, are almost flat, except for the 200 EMA that's still coming up, but that's because we had a big rally. Uh, the ADX is below 20, which is also indicating that there's no trend. Uh, so overall, we are, we are consolidating, we are neutral. We're not bullish, we're not bearish. However, there's some other things coming up and that's actually going on right now, which could actually cause render to drop down. So that's what we're going to be talking about uh, in terms of fundamentals, but also in terms of technicals. So basically that you uh, hopefully at the end have as much of a thorough overview of everything that can happen. Um, but yeah, so that's what we'll talk about. Now, before we get into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, Check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment. There you'll find instructions on how to join. So now to render. Um, render right now, in addition to the price not trending, or technically it's not trending, um, the volume right now has gone up quite a bit. Uh, yesterday, especially with that bullish momentum, volume went above 100 million. And right now it's a, <laughs> is at about 160 million. So that's amazing. That was also, if I'm not mistaken, the, mistaken the, the, the volume we had last week when we were still very bullish. Um, but the thing is, is right now we're dropping and I actually think we'll continue that drop. Like I said, I think we have confirmed uh, that we are now in a consolidation. So that means that if you reach the top of the consolidation, usually you drop down to the bottom. Well, the bottom of the consolidation is this level right here. It's quite a big level. Um, I would argue it's actually this entire level between 2.5 and 2.42. So I think we'll drop down there. I think we'll first find some more support right here at the, at, at the top of 2.5. Um, and then we'll drop down to 2.42. Now, the main reason to actually introduce that to you, why I think we could actually have more bearish momentum is this, the Worldwide Developer Conference by Apple, in which they are announcing their VR headset and their mixed reality headset, I think they call it. So why would this be bearish for render, <laughs> right? That's, that's obviously a good question. Well, because a lot of people think that render has a partnership with Apple, which is not directly true. Uh, render is available, I think, in an app on the App Store. In my eyes, that's, uh, or at least to my knowledge, that's everything that there is. You can, you can tell yourself everything you'd like to, but that's, that's the truth. Um, at least if I'm not mistaken. If I'm mistaken, then please let me know and I'll take that back. Um, but that's going on. So there's kind of a tie between render and then Apple. And there's also, I mean, mixed reality. You obviously need to render a lot of things. Um, so perhaps there's some sort of a hope that render for that could also play some sort of uh, utility or have some, some sort of value. So right now we could have a buy the rumor, sell the, uh, sell the news effect so that we were actually perhaps a little bit bullish with that coming up. Like we were, like we're also seeing with sand and, and the central land, for example, metaverse cryptos. Um, and that will actually fall when it, when it's over. All right. So that's kind of the risk. And I'm not saying it will happen. It, it's, I'm saying it's something you should think about. So right now we're going to drop down to 2.5, 2.42. If, for example, we drop down below 2.5 immediately and we barely get any support from 2.42, then it's quite likely that we'll drop down below 2.42. And when that happens and we actually get that bearish breakout and retest, then it's over and we'll drop down as low as 2.2 and 2.25. And then we're bearish all of the sudden. So at this point of time, I do not think this is the most likely scenario. I think the most likely scenario is still that we'll continue this consolidation. However, this is something I am prepared for. And I wanted to prepare you for it as well. So that's my take on render for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.